Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video is a very highly requested video. Um, a lot of you guys that follow me on Snapchat have seen me posting um, this plant on my Snapchat like crazy and you guys have all asked me what I've been using. Uh, I'm sorry, doing with that plant so I'm going to let you guys know right now. So if you like to see what changed all this, then stay tuned. Okay guys. So the plant that I've had listed on my Snapchat like crazy is, drum roll please, is an aloe vera plant. Um, I've recently just started using aloe vera maybe like the past, I would say like two and a half months ago and it has changed my skin tremendously. Um, I'm not sure if you guys follow me um, throughout my YouTube journey and all my little skincare videos but your girl's skin is actually glowing and it's clear like this is the clearest my skin has ever been let's just say that um so basically with the aloe gel um a lot of people do not know about the benefits and the uses of aloe vera plants um and the aloe vera plants have been around forever so basically it is a succulent plant so like a cat so like I said, the plant basically lives off of water. So the upkeep of the plant is completely easy as hell, y'all. Like you literally can water it maybe like two to three times if that a month. So the upkeep is very, very easy. Um, And the uses of this thing and the benefits are outstanding. So basically, I've been using it for my face. So I've just been cutting um, a piece of a leaf off or an entire leaf, whatever. Um, and then I will skin the um, skin off of it. And then I will scrape the gel off of the gel substance, basically, from the inside out of it. Basically, how I use the aloe vera gel is I will cleanse my face with my Cetaphil cleanser. And then I will let it, my face air dry. And then I will apply the gel to my face. Um, as a mask. So basically I will let it sit on my face for maybe about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, it just depends on your skin type because I've noticed like um, the longer I let it sit on there, my face, it seems moisturized but in certain areas like around my nose and things like that, it tends to be a little bit drier than usual. So um, you kind of have to watch out for that because it does like tend to dry out your skin just a little bit. So you don't want to overdo it. So basically, um, I just apply that mask to my face, let it sit on for about 15 minutes, and then I'll rinse my face off. Then I'll apply my moisturizer, and that's basically it. Um, I do that regimen, well, the mask, um, maybe like one to two times out of the week. Um, more than likely, I probably stick to doing it once because, like I said, it does tend to dry me out just a little bit. But, guys, the it has changed my skin so freaking much. And you can literally, i seen a difference in my skin after I rinse it off. I'm not even lying to y'all. Like, my skin appeared brighter. Um, so that is a plus as well. So like I said, I'm not sure if you guys have followed me, but I really did suffer from bad acne in my teenage years and I did have like some scarring left. Um, I still do just a little bit, but it is not nowhere near to what it was, um, back then. So I am highly, highly impressed with this aloe vera, um, regimen that I have going on. Um, if you guys do not know, it has tons of uses. You can use it on wounds, um, burns, rashes, and like I said, your face and things like that. You can even use it internally. So, aloe is the shit, y'all. And like, a lot of people need to get help. Please get help. Like, I know they sell like aloe vera gel in the stores, but guys, I'm telling you, you'll be better off just getting on a plant of your own and utilizing it that way. This is basically it. Um, if you guys would like to see a video of me actually applying the aloe and how I prepare it and things like that, just leave a comment down below. And yeah, guys, get your aloe vera plants, order it, whatever you have to do, check your nearest stores, things like that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.